Biden's $1.2 trillion infrastructure plan will cut the U.S. debt and slightly increase GDP. Economists are saying, as Americans resume pre-COVID activity and the White House seeks even more stimulus, President Joe Biden's policy agenda may be his biggest economic threat. If lawmakers change the filibuster rules, a fourth stimulus check can be within reach. Hello YouTube, this is your daily news report and fourth stimulus check update. I hope you all having an amazing and wonderful day. Before we start today's video, please make sure to subscribe our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so whenever we upload a new video. All right, let's start today's video. According to a study from the University of Pennsylvania's Warden School, a bipartisan infrastructure deal reached by President Joe Biden and a group of senators would not only add to economic growth, but also lower the national debt, which is a kind of surprise. The additional $579 billion in new infrastructure spending would increase domestic output by 0.1% and decrease the U.S. debt by 0.9% by 2050. If lawmakers change the filibuster rules, a fourth stimulus check could be within reach. Senate moved to start debate on voting rights legislation that has long been one of their key priorities. Although all 50 Democrats in the Senate voted in favor of advancing the legislation, the voting rights bill will not advance to the next step in the process. That's because of a procedural rule called the filibuster. Under the current filibuster rules, lawmakers can block debate on a bill, effectively rendering it dead unless it can get 60 votes in the Senate. And since there are just 50 senators who reliably vote with Democrats, they'd need 10 Republicans to get on board to accomplish their legislative goals. Because of the defeat of the voting rights bill, activists are ramping up pressure on Democratic lawmakers to make changes to the filibuster. While many on the left have been arguing in favor of a rule change since President Joe Biden took office, the calls for modifying or ending the filibuster have become more urgent as Democrats face a growing fear Biden's agenda is dead in the water as long as this procedural tool remains in place. If lawmakers respond to this pressure and make a change to the filibuster, that could significantly increase the odds of another stimulus check. If lawmakers change the filibuster rules, the goal of doing so would be to make it easier for Democrats to pass legislation without Republican support. Since the left has the White House, as well as a majority in the House and Senate, the end of the filibuster would mean that they could pass whatever bills they can get agreement on from their side of the aisle even over united Republican opposition. That would be a major change from the status quo, and one that would make another check a real possibility. See, no Republicans support a fourth stimulus payment. In fact, Democrats had authorized the third stimulus check under a special procedural rule called reconciliation. Reconciliation bills can't be filibustered, but there are a limited number of times Democrats can use this trick. Biden has indicated a fourth stimulus check isn't a priority, although he has said he would be open to it. Since Democrats don't want to use one of their limited chances at reconciliation on a fourth check, the odds are that no more direct payments will find their way into people's bank accounts as long as the filibuster is in effect. If the rules change, though, Democrats could easily decide to provide another check and move the legislation along party lines. With more than 80 Democrats calling for ongoing payments, there's a very real chance that this could happen. Of course, there's no guarantee that activist pressure will lead to filibuster changes. Democrats would need unanimous support among their caucus to modify the rules. And several Democratic senators have expressed their clear opposition. But if those senators change their minds because of the defeated voting rights bill and the resulting campaign to end the filibuster, then Americans hoping for a fourth check will will have a lot more reason to be optimistic about its prospects.
As Americans resume pre-COVID activity and the White House seeks even more stimulus, President Joe Biden's policy agenda may be his biggest economic threat. The headwind could be too much of a good thing. Continued stimulus efforts like Biden's infrastructure plan and the rising risk of inflation. Biden has a lot to celebrate about his economy, job growth, and wages are on the rise. Economic activity is returning and the s and P500 is breaking records. The Federal Reserve could move to hike interest rates if inflation spikes in the second half of 2021 or beyond. That's all. Please subscribe our channel for more updates. Goodbye.